Welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. Today we are looking at the backdrop component. I have a relatively simple example of it here inside of a div. So it is masking the contents of this div, but it is not spilling outside of that div. And we pretty much just use CSS values inside of the SX prop to make that happen. So we'll dive into that. We'll dive into how to put background color and uh, color for the icon and so on onto the backdrop component. So stick around. Here I have a basic setup. I do not have the backdrop in yet. I just have a div that's got a click handler in place, just some code that uh, saves us some time. All it's gonna do is control an open value that controls whether the backdrop is visible or not. And it's got lorem ipsum text inside of it. The reason for that is because it's really long and I want our div to have some space, take up some space and make sure that our backdrop is actually masking things properly. So there's really just a couple starter things we need to do. Uh, we need to add our backdrop, which I'll do right here. We need to add some styling to the div. And then inside of the backdrop, we will add some styling using the SX value. So with that said, let's put the backdrop in here. And inside of our backdrop, we are going to have the circular progress indicator. And I've already got the imports for these in place. And so a uh, pretty common thing to have the circular progress indicator inside of the backdrop. So now we have our backdrop in place. It's unhappy because we need to always give it an open value. And so that just lets it know whether it's supposed to be open or not. And with that, it will compile properly. Right now, what we have is just our div without any styling and just that backdrop. And I wanted to take a look at that real fast and see how it looked. So we can see our backdrop here. We can see that position fixed is the default positioning. And so it's, even though it's inside of this div, even in the DOM, it's inside of the div, it's really covering everything. So we'll go back to the code in just a moment. But before we do, I want to mention that there will be a link in the video details to a post that has all of this code if you want to copy paste it. Also, there will uh, in the video details, there is a link to my MUI course that I created just a couple months back. So it really goes in depth to styling and customizing MUI components in MUI v5. So already we're going to be in good shape for uh, if I went over to our app, we'd see our div, we'd see it, uh, the backdrop sitting on top of it. But right now the backdrop would be on top of everything. So let's go to our div now and add a little bit of styling to it just so that we can see it a little bit better. Um, I will add, actually we need the style value here. And remember we cannot use SX within the div because the div is a React component, not a material UI component. So I, if I was doing this for production, then I would use a class right here instead of the style. Um, it's never as good to use inline styling, but to keep it simple, I'm gonna do that here. And we only need a couple of values inside of here. So I will add background color. And for that background color, I'm just gonna do a simple blue color. And then the other thing that I want is, and this is very important, I'm gonna set a position of relative. So the purpose of the position relative is that on our backdrop, we are actually going to add a position absolute. And the position absolute always wants to go and find its parent that has a position relative. And so that's what the backdrop will then be absolutely positioned inside of. So let's go and add that styling to our backdrop. Now on our backdrop, I can actually use the SX prop. So um, the SX prop is a really great prop that was added in Material UI version five. And it actually, it kind of looks and feels like inline styling when you're writing the code. Uh, there's very little, boil there's basically no boilerplate code, so that's really nice. However, what it's doing is it actually injects values using uh, classes that already exist. So it basically takes the root class and injects some more values into it, so pretty cool. So anyway, the color, the values that I want here, uh, first I'm gonna get that position of absolute in here. And so now just with that, our backdrop will sit inside of our div really nicely. And uh, it just, even though there's this text in here and then the backdrop comes after the text, given these two positionings that I have, then that won't really matter. The backdrop will actually just sit what will look like on top of the div or really just filling up the inside of the div regardless of this text. So anyway, we've got position on there 
and now let's add a color of let's just say something simple like green this will actually add color to the circular progress so the circular progress is um, it it takes color like any icon it takes the color value and uses that as its color it does not take the background color and use that as its color so important to keep that in mind next I will add a background color and now this is kind of interesting what I'm gonna do is I will add an RGBA that's gonna be kind of a yellow value so that's a yellow value right here and then I'm gonna add some opacity I will say 0 0.4 and so this yellow value the way that it will interact with the div is it'll actually just make the text of the div look kind of yellow because the text of the div is white uh, in in our app when it's running it's a white color uh, and the div has a background color on it so really the only thing that can be visibly changed by a background color on our backdrop is the actual underlying white text of our div so then one last thing that we might do, uh, it's not necessary in this example, but you might want to add a Z index depending on your situation. And I can just draw straight from our theme, the default theme. Um, I haven't done anything to like pull in the default theme. I'm not passing it with a theme provider or anything like that. It's just available. And the SX prop has kind of some shortcuts to accessing that theme. So one of those shortcuts is with the Z index, all we have to do is put in a string value that exists on the Z index theme object and it will translate, uh, it'll go and pull that value. So Z index, Z index, the drawer value is equal to 1200. So our backdrop is now going to have a Z index of 1200. So pretty cool stuff. Before we take a look at this, I'm gonna add one more thing. I'm just going to set a width of 25% here so that we get uh, some white space on either side, really make sure that our backdrop is not overflowing in any way outside of that div. With that, let's go take a look at our app. So here we are looking good, and here's our backdrop in the DOM, and we can see that it was by default position fixed, but by setting our custom position, we've overridden that, and then we've got our color and our background color. So pretty cool stuff. And if you know about position relative and position absolute, then it's really not too hard to style the backdrop and get it really to only overlay the components you care about overlaying. It's really just uh, remembering those CSS basics.